sealed line Baja bag. And I wanted to talk about this bag so but first and foremost just thanking him for his generosity. Um, this is a 55 liter seal line Baja and I believe this is the largest Baja model that they make. It holds a lot of gear. I already stuffed a sleeping bag in it just for demonstration purposes today but I was able to stuff my uh, this is the regular duty system and I was able to stuff it in that bag but it was a royal pain and I once I got it back out I didn't want to stuff it back in there for this demonstration but I, I have a sleeping bag in here already and then this is just a regular um, it's got the young room's name on it but it's an assault pack it has a mast in it it's got an entrenching tool in it but you can this is easily that sucker right in there too and now I'm no expert at this yet and I believe the more you practice with the seal the better but if I am correct you fold it over you got to get your fold and when I had my bitty and I had some like something else in here I, w I had more room to compress it down and was able to fold it over an extra time it really made a big difference because if you're able to push a bunch of air out of it, you know water can get in. But as you can see, it really tightens down nice. And I believe if you were smart while you were packing it and put your heavy stuff in the bottom and work your way up to the light stuff, if it went in the water, and of course if it wasn't wrapped, it would probably bob and plug like a little cork if it was uh, packed properly. But even now, you hear very little air leaking out of it, so you know if it gets wet while you're canoeing or whatever, it, uh, your stuff's going to stay pretty dry. Um, it's a seal line, and I want to emphasize something that the direction says because I probably never bought this bag for myself because I'm cheap skate. But I want to say, you know, they call everything waterproof or whatever, but it says here that uh, uh, the main point it makes is it's not for submersion. And what that means is if you dump it in the water, your stuff's going to get wet because it's watertight. Unless you, I don't know, are from a different planet than I'm from, there's really not, no such thing as watertight. But anyway, uh, I wanted to give a quick review on this. And as, I mean, it's, it makes a great little handle. You toss it right in your boat. I'm really excited about it. I'm hoping uh, uh, my buddy C. Sug and I are going to take a little canoe camping trip and uh, put it to use. So I can do an actual uh, use review. But it's tough as nails. It's, I believe it's really a vinyl is what it's made out of. It's really thick. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, that is a... I believe this one ran about $40 or $45, and uh, if you're canoeing and camping and want to keep your gear dry, that'd be a smart $45. Well, thanks again to my buddy Beanbag. There you have it.